Good evening, Tatum. You're right. There has been a significant increase in the number of COVID-19 tests administered lately. In fact, over the last month, Medical Center Health System urgent care clinics have seen about a 30 to 40 percent increase in the number of swabs administered. And that's due to a couple of reasons. One thing is the swabs are available. So before the conservatory of swabs were basically um, saved for those that were actually presenting with the criteria for COVID-19, meaning they met all clinical signs and symptoms and they were actually in a high risk area. The other reason has to do with the reopening of the community. The second thing would be um, community. I mean, when you open everything up, even in Hector County, uh, you're going to have a higher number of patients that are exposed. But on average, just how many tests are these clinics administering? We have seen a rise based on what we had been doing about a month ago. So we probably do anywhere, any, I guess at any point in time, between 30 upwards of 50 swabs a day. So we have seen a rise in, in, in COVID swabbing. And the urgent care clinics that fall under the medical center hospital believe they have an efficient method for testing for COVID on top of their regular duties. A uh, process that we have for all three clinics um, it is pretty efficient. My West and my JBS clinic are seeing predominantly our urgent care patients. Our 42nd is seeing nothing but swab. If it slows down our process, we can intake urgent care patients if I don't have a risk of cross-contaminating non-infected or non-suspected patients with suspected patients. And it's not just the urgent care clinics in Odessa that have seen an increase in the number of tests administered. In fact, Midland Memorial Hospital has also seen a steady increase in the number of tests that they've given out, jumping from 14 drive through tests in a day last week to now 28 drive through tests today. Live in Odessa, Jonathan Pulasic, News West 9.